Hi, John with eTrailer. If you're looking to do more with your Toyota RAV4, we have the current Class 3 receiver hitch, and it's on our 2023 Toyota RAV4. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the current hitch here. We have a Class 3 hitch. That means it's 2 inches by 2 inches square. That's going to be the industry standard for your Class 3 receiver hitches. This is going to be a gloss black powder coat finish. It has a hidden cross tube, which is a feature I like on these. Uh, that way, you just see the receiver section of it, and it looks like a factory neat finish on the back of your Toyota here. As far as the chain hangers, we're looking at a wire type, which gives you plenty of room for the S-style hooks or the clevis hooks. This is going to accept a 5 8 in inch pin and clip. Now the pin and clip is not included, so if you're new to towing, uh, we have these available here at eTrailer. We also have a blocking style here. So if you're looking at bike racks and cargo carriers, you won't necessarily need a pin and clip like this because most of the cargo carriers and bike racks come with an anti-rattle device, which is just a pin that tightens down so that everything is nice and tight on the hitch. So let's talk about some capacities on this hitch. I think this is the best hitch for you if you want to get into either a towing uh, field or if you're looking at accessories like cargo carriers and bike racks. Um, this is the most popular type. This is going to give you a ton of options for all of those. So this hitch can take up to 600 pounds of tongue weight rating. Now that's the force pushing down on the hitch. That's plenty of weight if you're looking at a two bike carrier or a four bike carrier or a big cargo rack. Um, as far as towing goes, we're looking at 4,000 pound gross trailer weight. Now that's going to be the weight of your trailer plus any cargo that you put on top of it, which is quite a bit. So you do want to check your owner's manual on the Toyota to make sure that you can actually haul that much. Let's look at some heights here and we're going to go from the ground to the top of the inner collar here and we are looking at 11 and a quarter inches. So keep that in mind if you're looking at a ball mount, you might need to get one that raises up or your bike racks or cargo carriers. Uh, that's quite a bit of distance and that's fine. Uh, or maybe you get one with a slight incline. The other option or measurement that we do is from the center of the pinhole to the edge of the bumper. And that's gonna be about five inches. And that's gonna be five inches. Now that's important if you have any fold-up accessories like uh, the cargo carriers and bike racks. You need to know how far they'll come out so they don't impact your bumper. So final thoughts on the Kurt hitch. I like this size hitch. This is a two-inch receiver. Like I said, this is going to give you the most options if you're looking at towing or accessories like bike racks and cargo carriers. Uh, as far as the finish goes, um, if you don't like the gloss black, uh, we do have an e-trailer. Um, hitch and that's also a class 3 same weight rating same everything but it's in a matte black finish which is what I prefer on cars like this that have this matte finish on the back um, as far as installation goes it's really an easy installation um, I just wish that on the passenger side there wasn't such limited room uh, you will need tools like uh, maybe a ratchet wrench and what they call a dog bone if you're interested in seeing how this installs stick around and we'll show you how we did it. Okay, so let's get this install started. Now, first thing we're gonna do, um, it's not stated in the instruction manual, but when we were trying to test fit this hitch earlier, it was just kind of tight to get it in between the exhaust with these tips, and we don't want to scratch stuff up. This exhaust is really easy to lower down, and that's what we're gonna do right now. I've got a cam buckle tie-down strap right here, and I just hung it from the coil springs on either side, and that's gonna help us control the exhaust as we lower it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and I've got a pry bar here. I'm gonna loosen this exhaust right here first. You can just take a pry bar, go in, give it a twist, and push. And if you've got some silicone spray, that'll help it come off easy too. On either frame rail, uh, the passenger and the driver's side, we've got two 12 millimeter bolts. We'll just go ahead and zip these off. There, and that should give us enough room. Now we're over here on the driver's side. You're gonna have two stickers on either side of the car here. Um, these are gonna be covering 
the weld nuts underneath. This just keeps the dirt and the grime out. I've got um, a scraper here. We can just use a screwdriver. Kind of just poke the middle. And peel it off. It's, it's a sticker, so, you know, do whatever you got to do. Now, even though they had stickers over these holes in the weld nuts here, it's still a good idea to use a bottle brush and just go ahead and clean that out. You could still have manufacturing debris in there that would make it difficult to bolt the hitch on later. So go ahead and do this to all four locations on the car. We've got two on the driver's side, two on the passenger side. Go ahead and take a look at the hardware that comes with the hitch. You're gonna have metric 10.9 cap screws and you're gonna have conical teeth washer. Now the teeth are gonna go towards the hitch. So they'll be mounted like this, and this gets bolted into the frame rail. Now let's go ahead and get the hitch up into position. Just come to either side on the inside of your exhaust here. It'll go to the, it'll go to the outside of the frame on either side. Now we're gonna go ahead and run these down right now. I have a 19 millimeter socket. And we'll just snug them up on each side and then we'll torque it to the specs in our installation manual. Now we wanted to show you on the passenger side here, this is what we're running into. And it's gonna, what, it's gonna be what you run into uh, at your house here. We have limited clearance on these two bolts. So to make your life easier, um, I, I have a 19 millimeter ratchet wrench and we're gonna get these close to the torque specs. But in order to actually torque this correctly, you're gonna need uh, a tool like this. And this is called a dog bone. This is a 19 millimeter wrench on one side and I'm using a 3 8 inch drive torque wrench and it's got the 3 8 inch fitting on the other side. And that's gonna allow us to torque this to the specs in our install manual. Now with the hitch torque to the specs, we'll go ahead and just raise the exhaust back up on the car. Repeat that on the other side. And don't forget, under the car here, we've got this rubber isolator we need to put back on. And the final step is to remove our tie-down strap. And that'll do it for the install. And that was a look at the Curt Class 3 receiver hitch on our 2023 Toyota RAV4.